Hello everyone. So today we are going to consider our next SQL assignment, which is to calculate a factorial of a number. Let's consider firstly, what is factorial of a number? It says factorial of a non-negative integer M is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to M and is represented by M factorial. So uh, for example, if you have to calculate a factorial of M, so what you have to do, you have to multiply that number by all the numbers till it reaches one. I mean, you have to gradually decrease. For example, if you start with M, you have to multiply it with M minus one, then M minus two and so on till the value becomes one. For example, if you have to calculate factorial of four, it will be four into three into two into one. So here one is the hard stop. Like once you reach till one, you have to stop and generate the multiplication. For example, if you have to calculate factorial of five, you have to start with five, multiply it with four into three into two into one. Moment you reach one, you have to stop, right? So you have to consider that number and decrease that number by one every time and generate multiplication of entire series. Right. Similarly, if you want to calculate factorial of 10, it will be 10 into 10 minus 1 like that. So 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 and so on till 3, 2 and 1. So this is the concept of factorial of a number. Now let's see how this works practically in SQL. So to understand this, uh, let's consider a simple example of factorial of two. Now what will be factorial of two? It will be two into one, which is two. Result is two. Okay. Now let's move to next number, factorial of three. It will be three into two into one. Result is six. Now, if you observe over here, 3 into 2 into 1, right? So this 2 into 1, can I say that it is factorial of 2? Because if you observe over here, factorial of 2 is 2 into 1. So can I generalize this as factorial of 3 is 3 into 2 factorial, right? Okay. Now let's move to next factorial of four. So what is factorial of four? Four into three into two into one. Result is 24. Now if you observe over here, factorial of four is four into this term, which is there. Can I say this is three factorial, right? So can I say it's four into three factorial? Okay. So now again, if you just link these things, so how will we proceed is if you want to calculate factorial of four, it is four into three factorial. Okay. So then what is three factorial? Three into two factorial, right? What is two factorial? Two into one. So this way, what you are observing is to calculate factorial of four, we went to four into three factorial. Then three factorial, we calculated like three into two factorial. Two factorial, we calculated two into one, which is two. So what happens is these values keep on returning like when you go to four factorial it drills down to three factorial again like four into three factorial three factorial then drills down to two factorial which is two into one 
so this factorial of 2 will generate a value which is 2 okay this will be replaced over here then it will become 6 so this 6 will then be returned over here which is 4 into 6 which is nothing but 4 into 3 factorial and it will give us 4 into 6 which is 24 here what you can observe is we have cal generated a method which will calculate the factorial of a number now how does this function works let's understand that so now as you understood in the previous example what we do is we say whenever we want to calculate 4 factorial it is 4 into 3 factorial correct so we are going to use the same concept over here I have created one method which is to generate a factorial of a number now what this function will do is whenever you give any input to it it will take that input and call again itself what this function will do whenever you pass any input to it it will take that input and call again that function again that means it will call itself again with a value which is input number minus 1 so if you pass input as 4 what it will do it will multiply 4 and call itself with parameter as 3 okay so now what will happen when the input is 3 again it will multiply 3 by that again same function but the input parameter will be deducted by 1 so it will be like 3 into 2 factorial since this function generates the factorial of a number again if you pass input as 2 it will multiply 2 by factorial of 1 basically we will call that method itself again but what will happen when the input is 1 it will not call itself again it will just return the value as 1 because 1 factorial when you say it's the end you have to just return the value as 1 so factorial of 1 returns you 1 right so when you consider 2 factorial so 2 into factorial of 1 now factorial of 1 returned what it returned 1 so 2 into 1 it's 2 so you are good with factorial of 2 because you got the value 2 into 1 2 okay so 2 factorial is done now it will switch back to 3 into 2 factorial 2 factorial we already calculated now it is 2 so 3 into 2 6 so 3 factorial is ready it's 3 into 2 factorial 2 factorial we calculated it is 2 so 3 into 2 it is 6 so 3 factorial is also done it is 6 okay so it will move one step up what will happen it's 4 into 3 factorial so what is 3 factorial it is 6 so 4 into 6 finally it will generate the result 4 into 6 which is 24 so here you can observe that I have created a function which will generate the factorial of a number and uh, this will take the input as integer number for who we have to calculate the factorial of a number and this will return an integer variable which will again be an value 
which would be the result, which is nothing but the factorial of that number. So now what is the logic that we are using over here? So you can see over here, if the input is greater than one, what we are going to do, we are going to take that number and again call the same method by passing the input by deducting by one. For example, if your input is four, so it will be four and to the same method, which is factorial of a number. And in that input will be passed as four minus one, which is three. So this will continue again when this method is called having input as three, it will be three and two same method with a parameter three minus one, which will be two. Again, the same method will be called with input as two and it will be two and two again, the same method, which is factorial of a number input will be one. But now, as you can see over here, when this method is called having input as one, it will not go in this condition. It will go in the else and what we are doing in else. We are returning one. That means factorial of one will not call again itself, but it will return a value of one. And this way, when you calculate factorial of two, which is two into one factorial and one factorial gives you the result, which is one. So you will get to generate the factorial of two, which is two. And then you'll move one level up. But this factorial of three, which is three into two factorial, two factorial, you've got the value as two. So three into two, will you get answer as six. So factorial of three is six. And again, you move to one level up, which is four factorial, four factorial is four into three factorial Now three factorial result. You have got the answer. It is six. So factorial of four is four into three factorial. Now three factorial is six. So four into six, which is 24. So this way it will generate the final result. Now let's see a demo of how we call this method. Okay. So I have declared one variable, which is integer. It will get the value, which is returned from this function. Now this function will take the input as four. So now when I execute this, it will give me the result, which is 24. So if I execute this, you can see over here, it is 24. So this is how the factorial of a number 